Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you um, this cabinet that I made myself recently. It is um, a very, uh, very cheap. It cost me only 200 bucks, even less than that. I paid for two um, sheets of plywood, screws, and some uh, these handles over there. Um, so that. And it only took me two uh, or three days to fix together and of course a little bit to, to paint it over. So I'll show you quickly um, how the process goes uh, from, the, from the very beginning. If you see here, this is what I had before. It's a quite ugly corner. We just moved into to the house and we, we don't have much um, you know, fun so we have to build something. And I thought that would be a good idea to just, uh, just uh, experiment to see what I can build because there is no way I can find any furniture that would uh, you know, perfectly fit this corner. So um, I decided that the, the best uh, materials to play with would be plywood because it's, it's a really cheap one. Sheet costs only 36 bucks. Um, so um, I just I drew some designs and I figured out that it would be good to um, to have uh, just just this angled corner here because I don't want things to be boxy and you know um, and also I have you know the door over here the, the bedroom so when I look out the bedroom I don't see just you know the corner of the of the cabinet I, I see actually the kitchen the whole kitchen and the, um, and the light coming out of there. So this is how I started. I I went to the uh, hardware shop and I, f um, I bought up, you know, a couple of sheets of plywood and they actually cut it for me right away there. So I don't have to, you know, spend much time. Uh, so I quickly built this two walls over there. All right, the, these uh, the retaining walls that will hold all the all the structure. And then I went uh, and cut off some um, shelves there. All right. And the next, this is how it looked when I put it all together. I liked it when I went. Up. It looked a little bit ugly here, but uh, in reality, it was it was quite okay. I just liked the wood and everything. So, but anyway. Um, then the next step was, yeah, I like that, it's, it's like goldish look. Um, so then I just actually had two or three uh, quartz. I decided to make it rustic because the building is uh, pretty old and you know, you, you, cannot, you cannot really um, put, you know, the, the really expensive uh, cabinet or furniture here. It just will look, you know, strange. So what I did, I just um, I painted it um, white and then another one or two coats with this, um, um, I don't know, milk tea sort of color. And then I used some sanding paper to remove some of the stuff. So it will look, you know, rustic-y and sort of, I don't know, I like it, modern. So um, then, yeah, I had, um, I had a plywood that had uh, sort of cracks on the one up layer. Uh, so I, you know, I tried it as, I thought it's pretty cool to actually put it on the front. So if you can see here, um, so I, I actually like it. I like it this way. Um, I also made this, um, you know, I, I made this spe uh, especially to make it look rustic because when you Put the paint, uh, you know, I, I have uh, everything, I have the uh, brushes and everything, I could look, I could put it in and it would look pretty nice, but I decided to, to make a little bit of texture here, so, I don't know, somehow I like it, all this, I did it myself, and yeah, at the end, uh, this is what I got, uh, yeah, my point is that, if you want to check out how your furniture is going to look like before you order to a carpenter or cabinetry, you could actually uh, check the, the, the final result before before you pay the money for it. So, and this is the great idea to use a cheap material, and it actually, you know, it, it's it's 
fun to actually try it out. And yeah, I've just a couple of things. Yeah, you can experiment and then see what can you know can be changed or what 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 would be the better thing. So um, what I did, I, I I tried you know place where you could sort the trash. I saw you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this last section here is the trash. So I put cans there, the uh, all the recyclers and uh, everything. Uh, all right. The uh, so you could you could see if if this design is good for you or not. I was actually thinking that uh, it probably could be a good idea to actually fit it in here and put like sort of. Uh, some sort of uh, access sort of window in here so you can drop it in there and then it's closed but yeah at the end I decided that well that would be uh, probably not too clean in here so I probably wouldn't option actually open it up um, yeah so and here what I, I think it was, was a good idea to um, to make to make um, you, you, you see the, the down the back side there, the shelf. It's uh, sort of uh, it's not that wide as as the front one, so you can put stuff that is uh, higher. So uh, you know, it gives you some some extra storage and everything. So this is it. Um, this is the temporary solution cabinet. If you like. Um, my uh, DIY project just uh, like the video and uh, I think that I will upload some more videos in a very close future thank you very much for watching bye